Adobe Illustrator is now available on the iPad, and in this video, what I want to show you is how to use and edit the graphic and logo templates from the Vector Lab. We have a preview image here, which I'll show you. This is just a PNG that previews the designs. This is a growing collection, so I'm currently adding new designs to it every week. And if you order early, you'll get all the designs for better price. But what I want to do here is let me open up two of these. So I'm going to open up number 20 and we're going to use this banner and we'll open up number 19. And instead of the lightning bolt in this cat's mouth, we'll put the banner. To select everything here, what we can do is let's hold down this circle right here. And now you'll notice if we scale it, it doesn't scale proportionately. So two fingers to undo. But what we do is if we hold down that circle, now it scales proportionately. And we'll select everything we need here. So let's banner fill, banner line work, the vector lab. And then what we can do here is go to copy this. Let's go into these other files. I have this cat file already open. The font is loaded and let's go into the layers here and let's turn off the lightning bolt and turn off some of this text. And now what we can do is let's go to paste this and now we can put this banner right here. So what else can we do here? Let's edit some of the text. So I actually like how it says the vector lab there. Let's turn on some of this other type that we had here. So what we can do here is let's go to our keyboard there and just type illustrator. And you'll see here this illustrator type is a little big for that area. So what we can do is just decrease our letter spacing a little bit. Let's just select all layers here. And what I'm going to do is let's just go here and tap here to copy it. And I'm going to open up a t-shirt mock-up template for Adobe Illustrator. So again, we can go into our layers here. Let's turn off this example graphic and highlight this layer that says your art goes on this layer and go there to paste. Again, what we want to do is hold down our little circle and we can scale it proportionately. Now you're talking. So I think this is looking pretty good. You know, we could go in here and change this fabric color, say more of like an orange or something like that to match the cat's nose. So there you go. That's how to use the graphic and logo templates for Adobe Illustrator and also the t-shirt mock-up templates for Adobe Illustrator for iPad. Thanks for watching.